going to get this uh, pronunciation wrong um, uh, for the for Saturn's moon. I, I don't even know if I want to say it. I actually did look it up. I got Google to pronounce it for me, and now it's gone completely out of my out of my brain. But right. Enceladus. There you go, Enceladus. Yep. <laughs> There you go. I knew I knew I could trust you to to know what what it was, Steve. Um, but I thought this was a really interesting thing, like um, the Cassini um, spacecraft that did its um, uh, voyage and um, investigation of Saturn and its moons. Um, this is the, the wonderful thing I find about um, all the exploration that's happening now of um, of space and the way that we're using all the latest technology to get more information. And uh, this discovery that they found a key building block of life. Um, <clears throat> Um, basically there, and um, that uh, it was the element of uh, phosphorus, which is um, a bit more, if you want to call it rare, compared to the other building blocks. Um, that doesn't necessarily mean that obviously there's any life there or there was any possibility of life, but at least it just demonstrates that those elements are possible beyond Earth, basically. Oh, well, absolutely. What's interesting about this is that, you know, you go back 100 years and as humans we drink, dreamt that there were aliens somewhere in the solar system, you know, usually Mars. You go forward 50 years and we've started exploring the, you know, our solar system. So by the end of the 1970s, you know, uh, we've sent a few probes out. We've decided there's no life in the solar system because the place is just too harsh. And now another 50 years on from there, suddenly we're finding phosphorus, which is essential for DNA and RNA. Uh, we're finding oceans beneath ice caps, which could be habitable, and we're finding a whole raft of environments, even on Mars, which, you know, 50 years ago we thought that nah, it's dead. Now we're saying there could have been life and maybe there even still is. And I think that what we're seeing now is that, you know, the solar system could well have other life somewhere in it, it's not going to look like human life and it's going to be very specific to its environments. But while they're hostile environment, environments for humans and or mammals from the planet Earth, they might be wonderful places to live if you're some other organism. <laughs> Absolutely. But it also, um, even if um, there wasn't any life found, it kind of suggests the possibility that it could be elsewhere um that um there <clears throat> there are elements that are out there um that um, are not just on earth um and that um, we could eventually find it one day um even if it's beyond our solar system as well yeah completely i mean it what it's showing is is that the uh elements for organic life exist almost uniformly throughout our solar system it's a reasonable bet then that they exist within every solar system. And then that would mean that a planet in the Goldilocks zone, if you want to be specific to the organic life that we know here on Earth, uh, any planet in any solar system, anywhere in the vastness of the universe, universe may well have all the building blocks required to, under the right conditions, uh, support organic life. What that means, we don't know. Could be little green people. <laughs> Absolutely, and but it and also highlights the idea that um, that sounds like it might be um, hard to assemble um, to get to that point. But the universe is so vast um, that uh, the, almost the the point of being mind boggling beyond our comprehension about how vast it is that. Um, it just has to happen one other time um, for it to show that um, it's pos it's possible. Oh, absolutely. But, you know, and that is the proviso that now the, you know, the, you know, I guess probability theorists and astrobiologists are saying is that the likelihood of all those conditions being right are so rare that we're probably the only ones. But all I'm saying is, is that we've been wrong in the last hundred years so many times. Why shouldn't we be wrong now? Mm, absolutely. Absolutely. Clean me up. <laughs> 